everyone and welcome to Lipstick on a Rig. Today we're going to be making this fairly simple textured beanie. For this project I'm using size 4 medium weight acrylic yarn and this is just the Big Twist Value brand and the color is mustard. I'm also going to be using a size F or 5 or 3 and 3 quarters of a millimeter crochet hook. And if you haven't already, then please check out the precursor to this video, and that is my How to Crochet a Beanie Brim. And I will link to that video in the description. And for that video, I crocheted a brim that is 8 stitches deep and roughly 16 inches wide. And I went ahead and joined the two edges like I show you how to do in that precursor video, as well as sectioned my brim off into four equal parts. So from here, we're going to turn our brim inside out. And we're going to begin this pattern by chaining three. And what we're going to do is we're going to place 20 double crochets in each of our four sections so that we have a total of 80 double crochets at the end of our row. And as you can see here, we don't have any traditional stitches, so we're just going to have to work in the available loops at the top of the edge of our brim here. And this chain three is going to count as our first double crochet of this row. So working in these available loops, we're just going to place our 80 double crochets going all the way around our row. And I'm going to go ahead and do that and I will meet back up with you at the end of this row. And when you get to the end of your row, you should have 80 double crochets, including that chain three stitch. And when you get to the end of your row, you should have 80 double crochets, including that chain three stitch. So when you get to the end of your row, we're just going to slip stitch into the top of that chain three. So from here, we're going to place one back post stitch around every stitch in our row. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Go ahead and yarn over, and then we're going to insert our crochet hook around our chain three. So this is not the top portion of the stitch, but instead we're crocheting around the stem that makes up the stitch just like that. Then we're going to yarn over and drop the stem portion. We should have three loops on our crochet hook. And we're going to yarn over and drop two loops and then yarn over and drop our last two loops. And that's how we're going to place our back post stitch. So we're going to go ahead and repeat that process for every stitch in our row. And it should be a lot easier after you work that chain three back post stitch. So at the end of this row, we should have a total of 80 back post stitches. And when you get to the end of your row and you have your 80 back post stitches, then what we're going to do is slip stitch into the top of our first back post stitch. And from here, we're going to place a front post stitch around that same stitch. So to do that, we're going to yarn over and then insert our crochet hook around the post. And this is a little bit messy because it's our joining post, so it might look a little bit funky at least a little bit different than the other posts, but that's okay. From here, we're going to yarn over and drop that post. Yarn over and drop two loops, and then yarn over and drop two more. So we're basically just working in the opposite direction that we did for our back post stitches. And from here, we're going to place one single crochet in our next four stitches, and this is going to be in the top of those stitches. So make sure that you're not placing your single crochet where you placed your front post stitch but in the next stitch over. And once you have your four single crochets in place, then working in the next stitch, we're going to place a front post stitch. So right here, it's going around that post, dropping our post, dropping two loops, and dropping two more. And that's gonna be our pattern for the rest of the row, so we're going to place one single crochet in the top portion of our next four stitches, and then we're going to place another front post stitch. And we're just going to repeat that going all the way around our row, and when we get done, we should have a total of 16 of these square sections here. And when you get to the end of your row, we're going to slip stitch into that first front post stitch. And again, we're going to repeat that last row, so we're going to place a front post stitch around this first stitch right here. And then we're going to place one single crochet in our next four stitches and then another front post stitch. And we're just going to keep repeating that pattern going all the way around our row again. And we're actually going to repeat this for a total of three times, so you should have a total of four rows with this pattern. 
And once you're done repeating that last row three times, it should look something like this. And from here, we're just going to slip stitch into the top of our first front post stitch and chain three. And then from here, we're going to place one double crochet in each stitch in our row. And we should have a total of 80 double crochets, including that chain three stitch when we get to the end of our row. And when you get to the end of your row, you're just going to slip stitch into the top of that chain three stitch. So from here, we're just going to repeat these five rows right here. So for this first row, we're going to place one back post stitch in every stitch in our row. Then we're going to place four rows of placing our front post stitch and then our four single crochets. I went ahead and repeated these first six rows a total of three times. So I now have four sections that all look the same. And I made sure that I ended on a row after placing these back post stitches here. So our next row is going to be our first row of decreasing. So to do that, we're going to place our front post stitch in our first two single crochets, just like we've been doing in the other rows. And once you've placed your front post stitch in your two single crochets, then we're going to single crochet our next two stitches together. So to do that, insert your crochet hook up underneath the next stitch and yarn over and pull through then up under the next stitch and yarn over and pull through. And now you have three loops on your crochet hook, so we're going to yarn over and drop all three of them. And that's how we're going to single crochet two stitches together. And from here, we're going to place our front post stitch like normal. And we're just going to repeat that pattern going all the way around our row. So as you can see, we're going to be decreasing by one stitch in all 16 of our sections. And when you get to the end of your row, you're just going to slip stitch into the top of your first front post stitch. And then we're going to place our first front post stitch and our first single crochet just like normal. Then we're going to single crochet together the next two stitches and then place our front post stitch again. And we're just going to repeat that going all the way around our row. And when we get done, we should have a total of 48 stitches. And at the end of this row, we're going to slip stitch into the top of our first front post stitch, and then we're going to place our front post stitch like normal. And from here, we're going to single crochet two stitches together, and then we're going to place our front post stitch. And that's gonna be our pattern for the entire row. So when you get to the end of the row, you should have a total of 32 stitches. And when you get to the end of your row, you're just going to slip stitch into the top of your first front post stitch. And from here, we're going to cut and tie off our yarn. And next, I cut a strand of yarn that is roughly one foot in length. And next, I'm just going to run this strand of yarn up underneath the front post of every front post stitch in my row, sort of like a drawstring. And once you're done running your strand of yarn underneath those front post stitches, then we're just going to pull both ends of that strand of yarn to cinch up the top of our beanie like this. And then we're just going to simply tie the two yarn strand ends together a few times to secure the top of our beanie. And in the description, I will link to my DIY pom-pom maker. Please let me know in the comments below if you experienced any issues while you were making this and I will do my best to help you out. If this video helped you, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel, Lipstick on a Rig. Thank you so much for working with me and I hope you have a wonderful, awesome day.